What can I do for you? I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. I thought you would be more interested in sharing your opinions of elven culture. You are Dalish, are you not? My people come from the elves who refused to surrender when humans broke their treaty and destroyed the Dales. Your keeper was not wrong about that, at least. We must mark the occasion of the Dalish remembering something correctly. Perhaps we should plant a tree. You insult my people! They insult themselves. Remember, I have walked the memories of the Fade. I have seen the history the Dalish imitate. Irabellus, Haren. If the Dalish have done you a disservice, I would make that right. What course would you set for them that is better than what they know now? You are right, of course. The fault is mine for expecting what the Dalish could never truly accomplish. Here are balas, Stalin. If I can offer any understanding, you have but to ask. I'd like to know more about the Elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral, but Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvenan was the Empire, and Arlathan its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Are all Dalish elves like my clan? No. Your clan was unique in having enough interest in human affairs to send you to spy upon the Divine's meeting. As your clans have been separate for so long, they have all changed, adapting to the lands in which they live. Some are no more than bandits, others trade freely with humans, and some have disappeared entirely into the forests. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Devinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past, and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. Is the magic they teach in the Circle different from the magic I learned with my people? No, and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. I'd be interested in learning more about blood magic. I would teach you if I knew it. Unfortunately, using blood magic seems to make it more difficult to enter the Fade. You understand why I never bothered to learn it. A shame as it is extremely powerful, provided it remains a tool, not a crutch, nor a passion. We'll talk later. Goodbye.